All right, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100, as we're talking about here on the day, you can see the NASDAQ is coming back into our massive key low around 20,500, as you can see, going all the way back into June. It's been rejected multiple times. You end of the week right there. You go into something like the one hour, you can also see that you are clearly making those higher lows to end the week. So that's a good overall notion. It's also worth mentioning it was an OPEX day, right? And a, lot, and a lot of you guys put a lot of notion of that, even despite right? Despite sellers trying to step in, reject us off that level. And then you reject it here. I want to say the entire day of Friday, all, you know, all the, in the entire session, you rejected for, you know, there, boom, right? Sellers could not push you down. Very interesting. You go into something like ES, you look at the S&P 500, very good behavior. Now, again, I want to highlight these key levels so you understand, right? This is your little pivot high that you had back on Wednesday. I want to make this very, very clear. This was your high from Wednesday's trading session. And you can see this is kind of where you, you broke up back here Monday the 14th. You mounted that level, pushed up. Now it's your same level you rejected at there on Wednesday. All right, guys. Also, too, I forgot to put this in the video, so I'm editing it in really quick. If you're interested, the Discord link is down below. It'll send you right to the payment and things like that. If you're interested, you have the, the text alerts and then also your Premier Access for monthly access. The link will be down below, like I just said. Um, but also, too, with Premier Access, we are slowly integrating this. We're gonna It'll be dropping very soon. The trading bot, just to let you know. Um, you'll get direct buying alerts based off of our technicals and everything like that as well going straight into discord so This is something we're slowly rolling out um, as well that we're really trying to be careful with because we don't want to mislead or do anything crazy But again another feature that is coming. They'll be specifically just for discord So make sure you tap in if you're interested prices may eventually go up But as of right now, you'll be grandfathered right in off rip So again, if you're interested the link is down below But let's get back into the video just back down and you kind of mounted here for the remainder of the week. You had a little false breakdown right in the after hours and then got back above, right? So during market hours after Wednesday, you held that area. Very important to understand that, right? Where buyers continue to hold you up. You dipped here, you know, going into Friday morning, buyers stepped in aggressively, pushed you back up. ES is very, very close as well to its all time high. Another notion I will put here is you, I mean, you know, it's hard to, to, not, to not be able to identify the higher lows you're putting in here on like the higher time frames, the one hour, four hour, even daily, still putting in with the flat top up here. I would argue that the ES, the S&P 500 is trying to make an ascending triangle for more continuation to the upside. What I'd be looking for is the amount above 59, 18.5 right there. Boom, boom, boom. Pushing back into hopefully getting into that range of, you know, 50, you know, 6,000 or 6,000 over on. It's kind of crazy to say out loud in the ES. But, you know, getting that breakout above, hopefully just, you know, 59.27, 59.30, right? We go into Dow, you know, don't really talk too much about Dow. Looks incredible. Dow, Dow, Dow just bounces and keeps going, right? And this is being held up by the sectors that are getting a lot of love, right? Like XLF continuing to break out there. Um, XLI wants to continue breaking out as well. You know, we talked a lot about XLI trading in a range, pushing back up through that. You know, you have other sectors as well, XLV trying to break back up, which already had a monster push, you know, go back into, you know, August while the rest of the market was getting hit, you know, XLV healthcare was doing well. Now it's, you know, come back to 200, trying to bounce again. So, you know, other areas of the market besides tech have been doing very good, like still very important to understand that. Then we go into tech and which is heavily dependent on, you know, heavily, you know, impact spy, you know, tech bounce where you need to. We talked about this this past week. 227 here on XLK bouncing right where you need to. You zoom out, you can see your massive pivot point. The only sector that isn't super hot right now is semiconductors. Even though Nvidia is sitting basically at all time highs, you know, you can see here on SMH, you're still rejecting from 256 after you had the bad news from ASML. Even with TSM's earnings, they push you into 256 and you reject it, right? Push, reject, right? So that's exactly where you're at. Now, the only thing I'll say here is despite the rejection on SMH, you still have NQ on the verge of trying to break out, right? That's the that's the best looking thing that we're looking at here overall. So important to understand that as we go into this week and as we go into the session this week as well. Um, a few things I will also post. If you don't know, I did the we we had the newsletter I just did the rundown here on Twitter, so you can follow look at that if you want. Um, but also too going into Twitter is looking at the earnings uh, the the list for this week, right? Okay, your Tuesday, Wednesday are your biggest days. I'm telling you right now, my personal opinion. You have some a lot of down names on Wednesday, but TXN also reports after close on Tuesday, one of the top four um, semiconductor names out there. And then on Wednesday, you have IBM, LRCX, Tesla. Those are big names as well. So again, understand that. It's going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, biggest days of the week that I'd be paying the most attention to. Okay, so when we're going into the session, we're looking, okay, again, we're just paying a lot of attention to SPY and what's happening here. I think this kind of needs to be the main focus here is the S&P, um, which again, I, it has normally been 
QQQ, right? Um, or NASDAQ. But I'm looking for the S&P to get back above basically like five, 585, 585.5 and start pushing back up and hopefully start getting that push into the $600 range. I think it's highly likely. Again, you look here, you've had a clean breakout, you continue to push up. Now, if I'm looking on the side of when do we start going short, when do sellers start to take control? Because I do believe you're coming very close into that range of you're going to get a pullback pretty soon. Personally, I, I think it's going to happen, but I don't want to start talking about it until you get more of that notion. You at least got to break out of this trend. You at least got to start making lower lows and lower highs. So again, you want to see a break below 582, start pushing back down lower, hopefully get into 579 and then breaking back below 574. But until that happens, there's no reason. There's there's no reason to panic or look for short here. If you're looking to go short at highs, again, you are just liquidity. Congratulations. You are helping us make more money. Um, so you know, keep, keep up the fight. Um, QQQ, again, you're above your liquid zone that we've talked so much about still right from basically 487 to 493 again you broke below 493 you dropped right down to 487 bounced right back up again the liquid zone does not fail us so you're still above this level 493 which is really nice to see and you can see here too it was your level here but again you're still trying to break up here on nq back in all-time highs it doesn't look bad you're mounting above your level you look pretty good it's also your high you had back in september as well so again not bad overall now going into this week I'm looking for continuation, obviously. I'm looking at the market. I like what I'm seeing. Now, there's a few things that we need to understand. Iran, Israel, it's going to escalate. I don't know when, don't know how. It's going to escalate, in my opinion. Um, that probably pulls the market back a little bit during that time. Okay? Beware of that. Whatever. Other parts here. DXY continues to ramp up and continues to bounce off the 200 weekly SMA. And that bottom zone we talked so much about down here on the higher time frames, right? You're bouncing off of $199. Not a good look there. 30-year yield, Right? Terrible. This is terrible. This is god awful. Dear God. We got the break of 4% and then we bounced right back above. You cannot hold below that level. Bad, bad, bad look, right? Now, I do expect more rate cuts to come in, but those aren't going to come until November and then December, right? So you still have a bit of a waiting game. Now, you are hitting the downtrend here on the 30-year yield and the 10-year yield. But again, we need to see yields come back to the downside. You're seeing this affect the mortgage rates and what's happening there. They bounce back significantly. Housing has slowed down, okay? We'll say that right now. Again, it is a little bit of a concern, but you expect those to make the flip. The other part here, though, too, is Bitcoin. So while you do have some areas of risk off, you know, being there, you have that March down here on Bitcoin, which is breaking out. Again, this is a, this is a risk on indicator if I've ever seen one. You know what I mean? So again, you look here, Bitcoin's breaking out. IWM, Russell, breaking out, trying to here, trying to get a break and mount of your level 225. Again, Pretty impressive in my book. If I'm looking at this higher lows established, you look pretty solid, right? This is what you want to see. Can the Russell hold 225 for that continuation to get that continued breakout there? Now, let's go into stocks and what we're looking at there. Now, specifically this week, NVIDIA, big talk here. Um, again, I'm not trading short-dated NVIDIA contracts. We'll occasionally trade them in Discord. But what I'm very concerned about with, with NVIDIA, let's keep it real simple, right? What I'm mainly concerned about here is 110% the long data positions here. That's all I really care about. I don't, I don't care about short data. I could care less about the mumbo jumbo here, right? You're at the verge of breaking out. You know, we talked a lot about it down here at, you know, $105, $90, whatever. People didn't want to buy it, okay? Do whatever you got to do. But again, now we're at that level where we're breaking back out, getting that continuation. And this is what we wanted to see, right? And again, I believe NVIDIA is going to have the breakout here pretty soon. And most likely end of the year, I don't want to jump and say a target, but it look good, right? The last time we broke out of these, you know, previous highs was back here, back, you know, from March highs, breaking out basically back in May. You had a little bit of continued sideways continuation for, you know, four, four months, give or take. You broke out here, bada bing, you went from 95 all the way into 141. I'm not saying you're gonna have the same type of breakout, but it looks really good. Nice consolidation, longer range right here, breaking out again. So it looks really good. And again, you're doing this without the help of other semiconductors, right? So NVIDIA looks very good. Again, if you get the breakdown, I'm looking for 136. If you bounce at 136, it's another buying opportunity. So we'll keep that one on the lookout. Amazon, one of our favorite names here on the list as well. You go to something like the two hour. And again, all you really got to watch here on Amazon, let's be really quick. It's your big level right here. We can actually change that one to red so it stays, stands out. This is your 2021 highs right there, 188.7 locally. Above that, it's a long opportunity. It's a great name. Again, we're looking for a 191 and then breaking out maybe into 193, 194. Very good, strong name as well, watching it closely. Microsoft. Microsoft has been a really big talk here for myself. Um, and again, let me change this. It's 100. I was looking at another chart. 
um, but going to the 200. So Microsoft has been trending just basically at the 200 SMA here. If you can start remounting one 419, 420, you have room back into 423.8. Above 423, 423.8, you have like nothing into 430, 429. So again, Microsoft above the 200 SMA is a big talk here. Got to be watching. It looks very good. Netflix at all-time highs. Nothing really else to say. Looks good. Can't do nothing there. Micron. Um, you have your 100 daily moving average around here, like at 111, 111.5. Above 112, I like Micron into 117, then 121, then 127. What I'm looking at there looks really good as well. CrowdStrike, big fan of CrowdStrike here on higher time frames. You look at CrowdStrike, again, as long as it's above 307, your 200 daily moving average, I'm very bullish into 330, 335. Um, again, lovely name, performing very good. Not the greatest four-hour candles developing here, but I still like what it's doing. I'm still very bullish. If the market gets continuation, I think this can move with ease and moves very fast. Very good looking name. AMD, a lot of people liking this name, but again, be careful. Um, I am not loving this name here. I think it's a good name. I think it's been performing well, but be very, very careful. You have a little bit of a demand down here too, like in the four hour, which isn't bad. You're bouncing at it, but you're below your 200 daily moving average. I talk about this all the time. Below that level, you have to lean towards the downside thesis. You have a flat bottom down here. You start breaking deck below this. This could get ugly, get ugly fast. So again, keep your head on a swivel. Not a huge fan of this name right here. AVGO. I am a fan here. If you can start mounting back above 180, your little highs you have back here for September 26, you're looking for a breakout back into around 182.5, 182.8. Um, then you're looking for all, obviously you would push back into all time highs near 185. But again, keep it on a swivel, what we're looking at there as well. Uh, banks have been a big area here on the market and they're showing no signs of slowing down. JP Morgan getting a continuation. BlackRock, we talked about them not too long ago as well, breaking back up into 1,000. You have Morgan Stanley had earnings, and they are killing it as well. Banks look good. The driving force of the Dow right now, if you had to ask me right now as well. Um, so again, what I'd be looking at there, I'm keeping my head definitely watching those names as well. LOY, again, you don't see me talk a lot about healthcare names, but I mentioned XLV earlier. If LOY gets back above 939. I think you have room back in 966 and then pushing into all time highs. So again, I'm watching this closely. Had a little bit of a you know retrace down here, kind of breaking out of your little channel. Looking for 939 above 939. I think it's a long into 966 with continuation and upside from there as well. Some of my favorite names and what I'd be watching. I'm actually setting an alert right now. So again, what I'm watching on the market. If you have questions, comment down below. I appreciate you guys for the support. More videos coming out. I'll see you tomorrow. Also, to let you know right now, Discord link is open. It is down below. Um, it's also on Twitter, so make sure you tap in if you're interested. Have a good one, traders.